once you accept everything and once you're there you get a link or uh, this Albert that's a, a student portal where you need to select your courses you get a list of subjects which are offered every semester or so you can select any one of those three you need to take three courses for Sam so you can take any one of them the usually in computer science I've seen uh, machine learning is pretty popular cloud computing algorithms for computer science there are some mandatory subjects and some electives there's a list which NYU provides mostly everyone tries to finish up the mandatory one for the placement season starts like that there are like six i think for computer science but you need to take three every uh, every sam so there's a lot of elect and you can cho choose electives and uh, offered by other colleges like uh, we have electives in where we can do courses in quran those are available too it depends where you have an interest in you can so being in computer science you can do in cloud and uh, as well as on other fields like cyber security too those are all electives 30 credits. You need to actually uh, sit with a plan and you can decide how many courses you can take. But three is the minimum number of subjects which you need to take up every sem. Then you can do a specialization in one type of field which sets you apart. Maybe, but I didn't give a thought like that, but I guess you can. Some students think uh, in respect of going from Tandon to Quran. Quran is still like, uh, it's a college in the main campus. It's, you don't get that college. You need a pretty high marks for that. So shifting from Tandon to uh, Quran, you need a very like 3.8 or plus out of 4 to go there, to take courses over there. It's not, but it's more like Quran goes into much deep, deep knowledge and deep into research. So if you are interested in that, then if you can score very good in the first time, then you can apply for Quran and then you can get in there. Machine learning. Uh, those algorithms is mandatory, but uh, cloud, people are going for uh, uh, crypto analysis. I don't know much about computer science that much, but I do. But these are the courses which they are taking. Cyber security, it's a vulnerability analysis, penetration testing. These two are pretty good. Biometric. Cyber security at NYU is pretty good. Like considered one of the best ones in the country. There are a lot of seminars, IBM and Palo Alto. Many companies come and give seminars and usually they're good networking events also. So it's a combination of both. Some some courses do have project work and they tell you like at the starting, like in the first or the second class, uh, they tell you that if this subject is going to involve project and you have a chance your subjects even after you've taken them. Like you can take up subject right now and then you can have a chance to change them later on. We don't want to do that. But yeah, projects are there. Tandon is very competitive and it is very rigorous. The projects are not easy. You have to work throughout the source to finish it. And I mean, even the grading sometimes is tough. If you do it like regularly and not keep it for the last moment, then it's fine. But if you keep it for the last moment, then it doesn't work out. NYU gives a lot of uh, events they take you a lot of places like uh, they take you for ice skating and stuff. They take you to Empire State Building and Central Park. It happens during the week also. So the graduate program starts from 6 o'clock, the, uh, the classes. So 6 to 8.30, that's the timings. And the three days because of the three courses. So you have the rest of the week, but usually you, it goes into doing the homeworks and assignments. So the weekends is when you get the time to go out if you want to. And the classes are during the day and uh, in the evenings is uh, graduate program classes. Yeah. Six if you're doing work like if you're with the class you're not lagging behind it's easy to score a 4.0 but uh, if you get behind then it just suffers and if you have a scholarship then you need to maintain a 3.3 because once you slip then uh, your scholarship get cancelled and get tough to sit in the placement and the companies also usually there's a midterm and the final exam so midterm is very important i mean no matter which college you go to midterms are very important usually they have like 40 percent of the total grade weightage so people score very well in that so that the final exam becomes a little bit but if you score like not that great in the midterms then you might struggle in the final, final exam too no usually many people do people are way above 3.3 usually but my i've seen a couple of friends going below three like a 2.9 and 2.8 they got their scholarship